welcome to Kyoto, Japan. We took Japan's fastest bullet train out here to explore this amazing city and, of course, eat a lot of ramen. Let's go. What's going on over there? <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> the sun's out for the first time and it feels so good. <laughs> Mm. Welcome to Kyoto. We have made it out to Kyoto from Tokyo. Definitely gonna miss that place. We love Tokyo. I loved it there so much. A lot. Obviously, we're excited to be here. We're very excited to see a lot of the stuff around here in Kyoto. Plus, as you know, try a ton of food. That's really why we travel is to eat food. <laughs> We got out here to Kyoto from Tokyo in style on the bullet train. It was probably the best train ride we'd ever had in our lives. Agreed. We're catching the bullet train today, guys. I'm so excited, but I'm also so sad. We're saying goodbye to Tokyo today. And you know what? I've already said we will be back. Like, I just know that we will be back because I love this city so much. I feel like you and I have really enjoyed this city. It's such a cool city, and there's so much more I feel like we need to see. And we've been going hard, and we've been here for a while. Yeah. <laughs> but we are catching the train, guys. We had about a two hour trip on the train today out to Kyoto. Very excited to see another part of Japan. We're here there's a little more culture there, so it's gonna be awesome. I'm very excited about this train. These things are fast. These are the fastest trains here in Japan. They go about 185 miles an hour, it's called the Shinkansen. I didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, they whip. They're gonna be faster than any train we've ever been on. Anyways, Okay, guys. that's gonna be so cool. I am so excited. And this one's ours, so we're gonna go ahead and board. Ready? Yeah, let's do it. For the ride, sandwich, another sandwich, sustenance, and yeah, we got a water. My Just kidding. Way too fast. <laughs> that was cool. It's so long. <laughs> we have been seeing strawberries everywhere in Japan, and I've loved it because I love strawberries, but I've been so curious like, what's the obsession with strawberries? Well, I must have said that out loud, and my phone heard me because I saw on like Instagram or TikTok or something the other night that it's strawberry season here right now. And these sandwiches at our local 7-Eleven here are like <laughs> all the craze. According to my late night social media scrolling, everyone's freaking out about them. But I saw it and I was like, okay, I have to try one of these. So it's strawberries, custard, and whipped cream. This is just a little pregame before the main event, which is ramen. <laughs> this should actually be our dessert, but I really want to eat it cold and fresh. <laughs> I don't really know how you open the sandwich packs here. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. My hands are so cold. That's what it looks like. It's Ready? like a trifle in a sandwich. Oh wow, that's delicious. It totally it's looks like, like super dessert. super light. What is this, Grandma Sycamore's bread? This bread is so good. <laughs> You're gonna want this other half. So do you have any information on right here, this? Let me check. Got the pamphlets right here. <laughs> Guys, it just started snowing. <laughs> it is beautiful here. We had just arrived at the Golden Pavilion. I'll let you take a guess at why they call it that. <laughs> That's gold leaf, guys. Those top two floors are covered entirely in gold leaf. And it is absolutely beautiful right at the foot of this pond that's reflecting like perfectly on the water. We're gonna dig into Shell's pamphlets here, find out a little more about it. 
<laughs> and go take a closer look. <laughs> <laughs> it just started snowing. <laughs> Shell, I have to take these from you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I want them. They're, they're just not looking they're great. They're my souvenirs. <laughs> we can keep them <laughs> just for photos and videos. I'm gonna pocket them. So this structure actually used to be a villa, but it was converted into a temple hundreds of years ago. And it's actually burned down quite a few times over history, most recently in like 1950. So this, as you see now, was reconstructed in 1955 after some crazed monk burned it down. Gotta get it in the center. Not a coin. Dropped off for a little bit of rice cakes. Never had these before, but there was a long line, so we figured we want to try something. Look at Plus, he's cooking them right here. I love that. Here we go. Well, they're good. Yeah, he like puts some sauce on it. The sauce is really good. I don't know what it is, but it's good. I like them. Fushimi Inari. This place is beautiful. Mount Inari is right behind us. There are so many shrines up on this mountainside, as well as tons of these orange gates. We're gonna see a lot more of them here. There's some massive ones down here, and then there's smaller ones just leading up the mountain, back to back. This is just our first stop here in Kyoto. We've been wanting to see these things for a long time. Definitely extremely photogenic, as you're gonna see in just a second. These right behind me are just the first of, I think, thousands, maybe even 10,000 orange gates that line the trail going up to the top of Mount Inari. A lot of the shrines here are dedicated to the deity Inari, which is kind of the god of success in business, prosperity, things like that. So each of these gates is actually donated by a company. They will donate money and have the gate built kind of as a sign of respect that they have been prosperous in business and things like that. So they will donate money back to this area and have a gate put up with their name inscribed on it and everything. Pretty amazing. We're just about to get in there and see a heck of a lot more of these. This is cool. <laughs> We're in the gates. These are so cool. They're so oh. tight together. Like it literally <laughs> is shrouding out the sun right now. This is cool. Look. Can you see it? Yeah. I definitely... <laughs> I think I'm too tall for Japan sometimes. I bang my head big time on one of the lanterns hanging <laughs> inside of the gate. It's like, got a boo-boo. Like big time, I was not, I didn't see it at all. I think it's because I'm always looking down at my camera and I just bang my head on things, but <laughs> ouch. <laughs> <gasps> Did you see that light? Yeah. Oh my gosh, that was beautiful, do it again. <laughs> Some of you may be noticing I'm not wearing a hat today for the first time in like eight months. If you missed the last video, you have to go back and watch it. I got a haircut in Tokyo and I'm absolutely loving it. Yeah, how does it feel to not have a hat on? Do you Honestly, feel like a piece of you is missing? Feels good. Do you good. feel a little bit nude out in public without <laughs> your baseball hat? No, it's a little cold though. My ears are a little cold. But your hat doesn't cover your ears. <laughs> I know. <laughs> you just got a boo-boo. Loving the haircut though, 100%. Should've did this a lot sooner. <laughs> made it up to this beautiful viewpoint. We have Kyoto out there in the background, and I think there's a ton of ramen out there too. Yeah, I really <laughs> could go for some ramen. The sun's out and it feels so good, but the I wind know. is quite frigid. I washed my hands in freezing cold water and they have lost all feeling, and so I think <laughs> it's time we go get ramen because that's the only way to cure a freezing cold shelly. <laughs> 
here at Ichira, I'm getting some ramen, and I absolutely love the way that they do things. You have a vending machine, basically. You throw your money in, and then you just pick what you want on here. We want the same thing, right? Um, so I just want ramen and egg. We got this one for you, and an egg. It pumps out some tickets for what you've ordered, and then somehow you get your money back. Oh, change. The best part, now they just bring you your food. You've already paid. You can just leave when you're done eating. I absolutely love it. Let's go eat. Okay, we got our seats now. We just wait. Our ramen comes out of a little cubby here. Okay. It's not ours. It's not ours. False alarm. All right, we just filled out the full preference sheet. You could choose spiciness level if you want pork or not, onions, garlic, strength of the broth, texture of the noodles, everything. You can choose it. We did all of our selections, handed it to them. I got a little nervous. They had a spicy level. It had zero, half, one, Two, and then they're like, and half was what was recommended. And then you can fill out three through ten, and I was like, do I really want ten? I put six. I kind of was know. recommended, and Daniel put six. A half level. I did level six. I did half. I, I did the recommended on everything because I didn't know. You went a little higher on the garlic though. Oh, I, I love did. Garlic. I did go a little higher on the garlic. I'm still sorry. I'm gonna have sticky breath. I love to sweat when I eat. I'll be honest. If I'm not sweating, it's not spicy enough. So we'll find out. This is awesome. I'm so excited. They even have a tap for water right here at your station. I wonder if that means that this is gonna be spicy. They have a call button. You can push that to talk to your server and then they have like, you don't even have to talk to your server. They have these things you can show them like, I guess this means you need utensils. No idea what that one means. All right, I have no idea what any of these means. So I'm probably not gonna oh, use I them. Oh, I do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, they just brought our ramen through the little bamboo netting in front of us. We got our eggs here. I guess we're peeling them ourselves and putting them in our ramen. Um, I have a massive pile of chili paste or something on top of mine. The shells is very minimal. Yeah, mine is small. This looks fantastic. This looks so good. I'm so excited. I'm peeling my egg. <laughs> Let me get some of this broth. See how spicy this really ended up being. Some green onions in there. <clears throat> <laughs> it's burns. That's it's spicy. spicy. It's delicious. Oh, it's really good. It's fantastic. So guys, I ordered extra noodles with this. I feel like everybody orders extra noodles. They kind of eat their noodles out first, and then you get some extra ones, put it in with the rest of the broth, and then just finish it all. So I think I have some coming. That's a big think, but I think I ordered some. That's that. Arigato. 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 We just made it out of Ichiran. I'm speechless. That was so good. It was so good and such a cool experience. We've eaten ramen a lot here. We've been in Japan for a while. We've had a lot of delicious ramen. I was and just that thinking was about that. So delicious. I think that was our fourth bowl. Honestly, everywhere has been fantastic. I would come back here in like a few hours and have another bowl. I'm that pretty sure they're so open good. 24 hours too, so maybe I think we'll, we will be back in a few hours. <laughs> Ichiran here, it's actually, there's quite a few locations. They're mainly here in Japan. They do have some in Hong Kong, Taiwan, and New York City. We have never been there before, so our first taste is here in Kyoto. I'm not mad about it, it was delicious. I'm hoping they bring it to Utah, honestly. <laughs> Keep dreaming. <laughs> We didn't make it very far right across. They had a little sweet treat. Daniel's getting a cheesy thing. I got a creme brulee stuffed crepe. Oh, that's like hard candy. Cream cheese creme brulee stuffed crepe. That's wow. really good. <laughs> I'm a big fan. All right guys, I got an octopus cheesy pancake. Mmm, top. These are so good. We had one of these back in Tokyo when we saw this. I had to get it again. We didn't have it octopus shaped though. This guy's got a little shop here. He has six molds. You make six at a time. And it just puts batter in, in the cheese and then folds it over and then tips it upside down and boom. I swear there's cheese in there. I'll get to it. We're frigid. So 
cold. You guys, we come from a cold place. We come from a place that gets all the seasons, but I would say Utah winters are pretty cold. We get lots of snow. The lake right by our house completely freezes over. We go out on it every winter. What I'm trying to say is the cold isn't something that's foreign to us. We actually both love cold weather. However, when you're only traveling with a roller carry-on size suitcase and you don't want to spend money on a coat, really we've brought it on ourselves because we don't <laughs> want to spend money on a coat. <laughs> yeah, we sent all our warm stuff home with your mom. She brought stuff out for Finland, warm stuff for Finland that we were so grateful for that we used, but then we sent it all back with her because we were like, we're going to Southeast Asia, it's going to be hot, and then we were like, oh, let's go to Japan, and Japan's freezing. <laughs> it's freezing, and we have very minimal warm clothing, so we are taking cover in our apartment. So the ramen warmed us up internally, then we had our nice, delicious, cheesy octopus thing, and the crepes, and those were all fantastic, you guys. I know so many of you are thinking, man, you guys gotta be so full, and you know what? We are, but <laughs> we couldn't not stop at the local, Oh, it doesn't say it on the bag, dang it. The local convenience store, they are everywhere here in Japan. Literally, like every single corner of every single block, you will see either a 7-Eleven, a Family Mart, or a Lawson, and we love that. We love them. We went in there, and we got so many little treats. This thing, I don't even know what it is, but it's like a fluffy chocolatey pill. There's a big piece of chocolate in there with some sort of cream. I want to put this in the microwave and maybe see what it's like. Daniel loves the chocolate waffles. We've got these little, I don't even know what <laughs> Choco buns. Little choco buns. I thought maybe these were raw and you had to cook them, but then they told us that you don't have to do that. You just eat them. It looks like a, maybe a chocolate steamed bun. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting here. We have so much. We got these little choco bites. Clearly chocolate's a theme here. We've got all sorts of convenience store goodies, and we're just gonna sit in front of our little space heater right here <laughs> heater. and eat our goodies. Speaking <laughs> of which, guys, night. this is our apartment here in Kyoto. And it's absolutely fantastic. Shell was looking at Airbnbs out here before we came, obviously. And there's great value here in Kyoto. Yeah, Kyoto is a lot cheaper than Tokyo, which was very, very nice for us to find out because this apartment is actually, I feel like, gigantic for Japan in general. First adventures out in Kyoto, I would say they were a win. This place is awesome, and there's so much more that we are so excited to see around here. Make sure you stick around to see it all with us. Japan is awesome. Like, I am just loving Japan. It is such a cool place. We love it here. We love you guys so much and we'll see you next time. See you guys.